Hi, I'm Carla Schaefer, Antiques Beads Designer, and I'm going to demonstrate how to make beaded beads and coiled beads using the coiling gizmo. I'm going to be using a 20 gauge artistic wire, and I'm using about four different colors. And I'm also going to be using a 22 gauge artistic wire. These are all non-tarnish. And I'm also going to be using two seed bead mixes. I'm using an 11-0 and an 8-0. And as far as tools, you'll need a pair of nipper tools and round nose or chain nose pliers. In this case, I'm using chain nose pliers. And you'll need the coiling gizmo. And the coiling gizmo comes with these two mandrels or cranks to coil the wire. And the, the actual tool that these go into needs to be mounted to a block of wood or to a desk using a C-clamp. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to make just the, the, the basic coil. And the first thing that you're going to do, I'm, going to, I'm using the smaller mandrel, and what you need to do is load the wire. Everything we do will work right off the spool, but what you do is you need to secure the wire to the mandrel, and I'm just going to wrap it around and stick it through the mandrel like this, and this will keep it on the mandrel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it into the coiling gizmo mount. And what you're going to do is you're going to start a couple of cranks to get it going around the mandrel. And it's not going to just get it going a couple of times like this. What I like to do is I like to hold the wire and just let it drop and give it some tension. And then you just start cranking it. And what happens is it starts to make in this coil. Crank it a couple of times. I'll just let it in. My coil is just about done, so you just keep cranking until you get, so it just comes loose. Okay, now we're what we've now that we've got the off the mount. What I'm going to do is come over here and clip the wire, and it'll slide off. And where we started, that's not exactly straight. And all you gotta do is clip this. And as I said before, now we've got a nice little coil here. If you wanted to cut this into sections, you can cut it into sections and use it as spacers. Or in this case, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make it into a bead. So then we're going to make this bead using this coil. First thing we're going to do is we're going to string the coil onto this wire. And again, we're working right off the spool. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around. I'm again using the smaller mandrel. You can use the bigger one or the small one. I'm just going to put it in here. And I'm going to put it into the tool. And the, the coiling gizmo mount has two size holes, one for the small rod and then one for the larger one. And again, we want to crank a couple of times to get it started before we push the coil up onto the wires. So I'm going to give it a couple of cranks. And then I'm simply just going to push the coil up as I crank and just guide it to where it starts coiling. And again, you just keep tension on it and coil until you get to the end. And then you want to give it a couple of turns so you have a finished end on it like we did when we started. And if you make it too long, you can always trim it. It's better to be longer than too short. And again, I'm going to take it out. Okay, and again, we're just going to clip it from the spool and then clip it off the mandrel. Now, obviously, you can leave it long and skinny like this. And as I said, you may want to trim it up and match it, so you just clip it. But I'm going to show you another way to make it more of this shape, and that's just by twisting it, kind of uncoiling it slightly, and reshaping it. Uncoiling it and coiling it back, and kind of mashing it up in the middle at the same time just to kind of give it a different shape. See, so, and we've taken it from something long and thin to something just a little more Oval. Okay, in this case, we are going to make the beaded coil, and I've, I'm using the salt and pepper 
8 0 seed bead mix and what you do is you string it directly to the wire in this case I'm using the 22 gauge wire and I've strung about 50 seed beads onto the wire and again I'm going to just load it on to the mandrel I'm using the smaller mandrel actually I'm going to use the bigger mandrel I'm going to use the bigger mandrel and again you just wrap it around a couple of times and then bring it through And then we're going to load it. And again, I'm using the larger hole this time because I'm using the larger mandrel. Okay, again, you start cranking it a couple of times until you get the coil started. You want it. And then you push the beads up. And you don't want to be too tight when you're doing this because it will break the seed beads. What you do is you, and you're going to let it loose a little bit. And once it starts catching, starts coiling, just keep moving the beads up. Till your last seed bead's on and you give it a couple more cranks. And to tighten up your coil, just kind of push it in a little bit. Okay, and again I'm just going to clip it from the spool and then I'm going to clip it from the mandrel and slot it off and I'm going to show you how to make sure that you've got your little ends tucked in here when you do go to use this as a bead okay I'm going to show you how to tuck or make this a clean edge where this wire has been cut so what we're going to do is we're going to tuck it in I'm just going to take it and just bend it slightly in like that just to make sure that when you use this as a bead, this little wire is not poking out. And again, I'm going to do it on this side. And you can use a round nose or a chain nose plier for this. And then what we've done is we've created a beaded bead. And then I'm going to show you how to make a beaded bead where we make the coil of bead beads and then put it on another wire and make it, it'll make it a little fuller bead. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how to make a beaded bead using an 11-0 seed bead. In this case, instead of stringing on 50 seed beads, I went ahead and strung on oh, probably about 8 inches worth of beads. The more beads you put on there, obviously the longer coil you're going to get. So again, we're just going to start making a base coil at the end. I'm going to bring that down and get a few more coils out of that. And then I'm going to start pushing the beads up. And again, if you do this too tight, the beads will start popping and breaking. So you just want to kind of loosen it up a little bit. And then when you get down to the last, again, make a couple of cranks for the end. And then we're going to cut this off, string it on a piece of heavier wire, and make this coil into a bead. Okay, what I've done is I've loaded the, the seed bead coil onto a 20 gauge wire, and I've loaded it onto the medium mandrel, and I'm going to get my ends started by giving it a couple of cranks. And then I'm going to bring the seed bead coil up and I'm going to start letting it coil around and again you want to be careful here don't want to go too tight so you don't break your beads or your coil and I'm going to give it a couple more cranks and, then I'll, and again what we have is a beaded seed bead coiled bead and it was like the, the sample that I had showed you. And the more beads you put on here, the longer, again, that it will be. And I just want to show you a couple of the projects that I have listed online for you to, to use your seated, your coiled beads for. This was a memory wire bracelet I did using the beaded, seed beaded coil. Also, I made a necklace out of one of the coiled beads that I made. And I made earrings out of the plain coil by putting it on another piece of wire and creating a dangle out of it. And all these projects are listed on the website with the Carla Cam video.